Oh my god. I've never seen anything like this before. I can't believe I've it. Been here, I've been here before and peered through the door, but I, I hadn't never been allowed in. Good morning, everyone. So we're on day three. Like a bit worse for wear because last night after the meal we ended up out in like some bars until about just like maybe half two in the morning. So yeah, like definitely a bit worse for wear. But today, this morning, we've actually got a walking tour around the old town, which I already kind of had a little look around before yesterday anyway. But yeah, that's our plan. So we're having a tour around the old town. And then after that, we're free to kind of do whatever we want until there is another walk to um, an area in Limburg or an area just north of Limburg called Deerkirken. So we're going there. And then I think we basically just disembark and that's it. So that'll be the end of kind of the, the twinning trip. So don't know what will happen after that. But yeah, that is the plan for day three. So join us. so much about the city and about all the buildings and just so much history and I was loving it every second. Our tour guide was so sweet. Um, yeah, I just loved it so much. I'll uh, see if I can tell you a couple of things um, as the video goes on. Okay, so just tag. so a couple of things that we learned then from the walking tour while they're fresh in my mind. So the first one is I think because this city is so old, um, you know, like 12th century kind of history is going on here. Um, we learned that there was like a pretty big trade route or trade connection between Lim no, yeah, Limburg, Cologne and Frankfurt. So this was like a mid point. Yeah. So I guess like there was a lot of money coming through. Um, and yeah, a lot of trade routes, which I thought was really interesting. Also, we didn't like, we didn't know too much about it, but there's also a lot of um, history of the plague and the Black Death being in Limburg, and like one in three people in this city died. But I mean, that's hardly that's hardly anything new. Like, pretty much a quarter of the population of Europe got wiped out from the plague, um, the Black Death. So yeah, but I thought that was really interesting. And then. Yeah, I mean, most of the buildings that are standing today are like 16th, 17th century. Some of them have been obviously renovated, but no, that's really good. So um, obviously, well, this is, again, something that's not like typical of Limburg or anything, but uh, the, tour, um, the tour guide was explaining that, yeah, when the Reformation happened, which would have been in the 1500s, the mid-1500s, when Martin Luther pinned his shit to the wall, um, <laughs> basically all of the churches were changed from like Catholic to reformed churches and um, they were once you know owned by the church they, they, they then belonged to the state 
and uh, you'll see uh, clips from the cathedral yesterday and I did mention this in yesterday in yesterday's video that yeah they would have whitewashed everything in there gotten rid of all the kind of um examples of wealth in the churches because they didn't want to be associated with um like exploitation in that way so they didn't want the churches to be wealthy they wanted you know everything to be owned by the state so that's kind of that's it really but no it was a great tour i always think now i'm going to always do walking tours but yeah so we're now going to go and get some food some nice vegetarian baguette yes at so the yeah. very least we will uh, show you what we get so we've just sat down in a cafe we've got these beers look at these bottles they're so cool and then we have ordered the tomato panini and the antipasti panini i don't want any more bread but here we go so uh frost frost Okay, for seven euros, this is some insane amounts of food. In fact, to the point where we can probably have one slice of each one there. Mm, I cannot wait to eat this. this is the... one slice each? I never thought of that. Yeah, we can have one slice each. This is the antipasti panini, and that's just the cheese and spinach one. But yeah, oh my god, eat it. Try it. Give it a try. I don't want it all to fly out. That's no, okay. You're like snogging it then. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> of course, it's exactly what I wanted. Mm, does it taste like the caprese salad? I said I really wanted like a cheese and tomato sandwich. That's basically what I've got. Lovely. Um, I was craving it. So there is olives, aubergine, cheese, sunflower tomatoes, and spinach in there. So go for it. I always look covered in food. Mm. That is pretty good, that. Oh, that's Essen was sehr lecker. The panini that I had was just basically like, yeah, balsamic vinegar. You can see Pete in the shade, sorry, in the reflection. It was just like, yeah, all the sort of things that you get in an antipasti just in a really nice bit of bread with some cheese it was absolutely stunning really filling and there's quite a lot of food to be honest so really happy with the value just got a nice little mango sorbet ice cream i think it was only just under two euros i don't know though i just checked my car and i'm like what but i better eat it before it gets uh, melted oh my god it's really refreshing mango sorbet mm. <laughs> it's vegan, but I don't want anything milky, I just wanted something refreshing. Let me just check how much it was. Because I'm thinking. Fumf Dreizig? Something like well, that? I just, I just checked, and it said 680 on the oh, car machine. I've actually only paid €1.70. This is the bridge, isn't it, from the 13th century? It sure is. So they've repaved it. But where it stands and what it is, it's from the 13th century, this bridge. And this tower's the toll booth. Mm hmm. Look. Wow. That's such a good view. Oh, yeah, it's really nice. Today is just so nice. It's our last full day. We're going on a huge walking tour now. We've already been on a walking tour, but we're going on another walk and uh, got my cheap sorbet. Lovely time in Germany. Oh my God. It's so warm. We're now on the walk to Diekirchen, which is like, I think it's a castle or a church. I think it's a church, just uh, next to Limburg. We can walk, so that's what we're doing. But it is really hot, probably about 26, 27 degrees. And 
No water. Don't try this at home, kids. Gonna go through the gap in the wall. <laughs> oh, I've never seen anything like this before. Am I right in saying Why are they here? Uh, because there were people who died who were, you know, there's no space to bury them from this hill. So you Do we know who down. they were or why they died? <laughs> Oh my gosh, we just came out of a catacomb. I'm not even joking, that was like really weird and scary. Kind of, oh my God, I've never done anything like that before. It was so weird. <sighs> Freaky, just skulls. Oh my God. <sighs> it's just weird. But nobody died in like weird circumstances or anything. They just, they just sort of apparently Apparently it was just people that they couldn't bury for whatever reason. It wasn't like a genocide or anything like that. Um, that was my kind of first thinking, like, why are they here? It was just quite freaky because you see skulls and like replica skulls like all the time in real life, but these are like real skulls. And I know that sounds really stupid, but <laughs> they're like real people's heads from hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Oh my God. Attacked by a bug. Yeah. <laughs> Bar terrace. Have a cheeky bev. Cheeky bevler. 
I was gonna say it's the last beer of the trip, but it most certainly isn't. Should be. That's no, not. <laughs> Hi everyone. So there's now gonna be a cathedral sort of procession thing, but we're not doing that because I've done enough of that stuff this weekend. So um, Pete's mum's gone there with our host, and then we are gonna. Oh no. We have to go back this way. There's no entrance. Oh. We're going. We're going to a pub nearby, a beer garden nearby. We wanted to go to this one yesterday, so we just went to this Greek restaurant, had a couple of drinks. Really nice vibe in there. Yeah, lovely. But we don't know if we're going to eat or not yet, or if we'll wait for the um, soup that the that our host Erica is going to make or has already made. But I could do with Chinese. Not going to lie. How the fuck do we get down there now? Wait, they must have been Mmm, Mulan beer. <laughs> I could leave a beer garden. Bro. This might well be the last beer of the trip! Post. I don't even know what that is, it's just a vice beer. Look how sweaty and gross I look, it's jokes. It's because it's covered in cream. Yeah, it's been 28 degrees today by the way, right? All I checked and it was 28 degrees. But yeah, we're just going to sit and enjoy this beer. Um, while they're all in the cathedral, we're going to have a beer. And then I am really hungry, but I really don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I really want a Chinese. I can't get it out of my head, but I don't think it's possible. So I think we should have soup and bread when we get home. I sound that really mean. It was good soup. I just, I'm like, I don't want to go home. We are leaving tomorrow at um, one o'clock in the afternoon to go to Frankfurt. And then we are after that going you know, just gonna chill around the airport. Maybe I'll have my final beer in the pool other bar. Maybe I'll get the banana vice again. So nice. Anyway, cheers. Wait, where's the handle? Cheers. Gross. Oh, mm. Apparently, I just spoke to the bartender. We're drinking something called Mühlen beer, and it's basically the local beer from the Obermüller restaurant. He was like, you're not going to get a beer like this anywhere else or whatever. So I was it's like... It's a good beer. It's a good beer. Although it does taste a little bit like Haribo now that I've had some with it. No. <laughs> <sighs> Where do you draw the line? I draw the line at Rasputin visiting my kids' bedrooms. But anything other than that is acceptable. So, yeah, born and bankrupt. In the former Soviet Union. So uh, we skipped the church thing, as we said. And now we're doing probably the final thing for the end of the twinning. So this is going to be just a celebration, some speeches apparently. Everyone gets beer, butter, and then there's some men walking around with boxes and boxes of pretzels. So we'll be helping us we may, some of them. We uh, made some pretzels, lady with pretzels. Yeah, there's also women. So Pete, why don't you go and get a couple of pretzels, mate? I'll wait here. Great view. Pete's, as well. Pete's not letting me drink anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a cry for help. I said. Pete's not letting me drink anymore. Absolutely. <laughs> cry for help. This is a cry for help. <laughs> I, I am being held against my will with not enough beer. But I want to drink a few more beers. <laughs> it's our last pick. Anyway, Frost. Bretzel. I'm bretzel hunting. Mm. Ah, danke. Oh. Mit der 
was quite a lot of area. So we were sitting this time. Let's get it out of the sun.